And last but certainly not least, this year's Colorado Small Business Person of the Year. If you've ever imagined a force in nature in the flesh, that's how I would describe our Small Business Person of the Year. This awardee was nominated by the City County of Denver Office of Economic Development. Hello, everybody. Thank you for sharing this with me. So I'd like to start by thanking all the people that have supported me through this journey of being a small business owner and uh, helping me become the 2016 SBA Colorado Small Business Person of the Year. Thank you. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank my father who flew in from New York to join us tonight, uh, this, this afternoon. Stand up, Dad. My father is a great man. He's instilled in me integrity, character, and many values that I have today that have contributed to my success. At this time, I'd also like to ask my staff to rise. They're all here at these two front tables. Yeah. Mm. These are the people who make Ink Monster what it is today. Michael Coriano, Kristen Thoreau, Callahan Urso, Mohamed Zubinigi, Chris Whitley, Amanda Lung, Joshua Kitt, Ryan Peoples, Mike Martinez, Masood Bamarund, Mindy and Anton Kazarov, Alex Belly, and Melanie Yudsi. Thank you guys so much for everything you do. I accept this award not as Colorado Small Business Person of the Year, but as Colorado Small Business Team of the Year. Teamwork truly does make a dream work. These are the people that make Ink Monster great and what it is today. So again, I'd just like to ask for another round of applause for, for these people. I'll start with a few more thank yous. Uh, from the Office of Economic Development, who's been an instrumental part of helping me grow my business, Mr. Tim Martinez, who nominated me for this award. Thank you so much, Tim. Mr. Paul Washington and the rest of his staff who believed in my vision, Teresa Mendoza, Carrie Singer, Peggy Stevenson, and Jeff Romine. Thank you, guys. From Chase Bank, Cameron Brewer. Thanks for always being there for me, Cam. And Nancy Sheridan. I'd also like to thank a good friend and advisor, Eric Goldberg. Thank you. Of course, uh, from the Small Business Administration, Sarah Hughes, Francis Padilla, keep it coming. Ed Cadena, Chris Chavez, and of course, the SBA Administrator, Maria Constrera Sweet, thank you so much. It was a pleasure speaking with you this weekend. You were very inspirational. A little emotional for me, so pardon me. So thank you all of, of you that I've just mentioned for believing in me all these years. It means a great deal. It's been a pleasure to work with you all and grow this business together. I can say with great conviction that I would not be standing here in front of you today if it was not for all of these people coming together to make this work. One thing all of these people have in common is their commitment to making this city, this state, and this country great by selflessly supporting small businesses that continue to grow jobs in these communities. And of course, all the other people in Colorado over the years who have supported me for over a decade. I know I'm leaving a lot of people out. I'd like to thank more, but we'd be here for quite some time. Over this past weekend, I had the privilege of representing our great state of Colorado in Washington, D.C. for the SBA National Small Business Person of the Year Award ceremony. And I was humbled 
to be in the same room with some of our country's most passionate entrepreneurs, this reminded me of what a great honor this award really is. People often, often define an entrepreneur in many different ways. To me, an entrepreneur is a leader in training. What makes a great leader? A great leader has the ability to gain followers who share in his or her vision and dream and are willing to take that journey together. Now, a lot of you know this is a lot easier said than done. Um, being an entrepreneur is not easy. It takes great passion, courage, guts, commitment, keeping a positive attitude through all the adversity, challenges, and risks that a small business offers. It takes dedication and a relentless pursuit of a dream. It truly is a labor of love. A great entrepreneur puts him or herself through tremendous sacrifice with no guarantees of success. While I was in DC, I was surrounded by many great small business owners, meeting people from all over the country, all walks of life, and many different industries. I was truly inspired by their continuous motivation, hunger, and focus year after year. Owning your own business is the American dream. Having the freedom to make something out of nothing is an opportunity that every single person in this country can take advantage of. We need to continuously nurture, support, educate the youth of our cities. We need to be role models and let these young people know that no matter who you are, where you come from, or what your resources are, you have the opportunity to live your dream. No one ever said it would be easy. No one ever said it would happen overnight. This is why we need to continuously encourage each other to keep being relentless in the pursuit of your dream. Keep being a positive influence and role model in your community. Keep being a leader who inspires others and helps change lives the way following your passion has changed your life. As you just heard, and many of you already know, uh, I did start my business as a snowboarder living in my van. Uh, I begged my father for a $600 loan to purchase my first PC to start the business. Uh, naturally, he said no. Uh, I had a lot of priors and a bad history of mo uh, mismanaging my money, um, but I was relentless. That, that didn't stop me from continuously asking and convincing him of, of my dream. Uh, eventually, he caved and said yes, and you know, even though he, he really didn't understand what I was going to do and, and how this was going to make me money and make me successful, but he still loved me and supported me regardless. I cannot explain the joy that I have to be recognized after all these years of hard work. For me, this is just the beginning. I look forward to all the opportunities, the continuous challenges, and relationships that are yet to come. At, at this point, I'd like to celebrate all the people in this room who have contributed to making the city of Denver great. So please, round of applause for all the business owners, government, affiliates, sponsors. Wouldn't be here without you guys, so thank you. So that's it. I, I appreciate you all for allowing me to accept this award uh, again, I'd like to thank my staff, my team, all the people who have helped me get here. Uh, it, it's a tremendous honor, so thank you very much. Um, thank you. 
more great things to come. So I have one last thing to say. Uh, in honor and, and celebration of all the great entrepreneurs that this country produces and this great city of Denver produces, uh, Ink Monster is having an event uh, at our facility uh, this Friday, uh, 3, uh, sorry, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., sponsored by Chase and Colorado Lending Source and a lot of other great local business owners and sponsors. So uh, it's called Meet Your Maker, and it's, it's a celebration of small manufacturing in Colorado where we will have 20 manufacturers to show you how their products are made so you get to meet your maker. Uh, I have one last request as well. Uh, I don't know what kind of business owner I would be without some selfless promotion, so I'd like everyone to pull out your phones right now and like us on social media. When you get a moment, our Facebooks, our Instagram, our LinkedIn, check out our website and our YouTube. You know, I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. So again, thank you all so very much. So you have to know, we already spent a weekend together at that beautiful <laughs> Smithsonian and the Institute of Peace. So we've gotten to know each other, we've gotten to know your family, your brother, and now I get to know your father. So again, on behalf of the President of the United States, with the power bestowed on me, I present the Person of the Year to Reed Silverman, Inc. Monster! he received in Washington, D.C. from the national headquarters of SBA, so I just want to flaunt this as well. And from our district office here. Yay! Thank you.